When you unpack the Duo 773, this is what you need immediately is, is the main box, a power cord, um, the two probes, leave them in the anti-static bags, and this adjustment tweaker. This is going to be used a little bit, little bit later in setup. But the first thing you need to do is you need to install the two probes in the front of the box. If you have an anti-static sheet, use a wrist strap to ground yourself. These are very sensitive to static electricity. You can blow them or damage them and cause them to you know, fail or not operate properly. If you don't have a static strap, or I mean if you don't have a static bench, then you can use the ground connection with the amplifier plugged into a three-prong three uh, grounded socket. So once that's, once that's plugged in, the amplifier is now grounded to the earth. So you can use this, you know, a standard ground strap before you, before you even open the bags. If you don't have one of these, then just grab onto one of these B and C connectors. This is now a ground connection. You are directly connected to ground. This goes through a safety resistor. In either case, I'm just going to use the ground strap. And in this particular case, I'm just going to unpack the 715 probe, which is the blue, it plugs into this port and you plug it into where it says port A here and make sure it's switched to ground. This is the normal storage condition for these probes is that they're plugged into the chassis and they're grounded. So in this particular case this is the B probe, it's red, got red color. You plug it in here and then connect it up to the B port and switch to ground. This is the normal storage condition when you're not using the amplifier. This is also the, the initial setup conditions for tweaking up the amplifier. Okay, reading from the manual, the default conditions for setting this up is that the A channel is in the standby mode. You set the capacity compensation, this knob here, all the way counterclockwise. You set in the B channel, the, the both position switches are off you set the capacity compensation to the zero point in here. The, um, in the current section, this is turned off. In the other video you saw it was on, I turned it off. Times one, times one over here. Filter is on times one. We're not going to be using this or this section, but you can just leave those set like this. Both of these switches, this is in the one nanoamp position in the channel A sector. We'll be changing that later. Um, the B, in the B sector, we have the, the switch set to ground, and over here in the A sector, we have the switch set to ground. These are the normal default conditions for setup. We've also got a, 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 an oscilloscope here, and to monitor the 1x output for this channel, it's going to be right there. And, that, and, you, and the thing is, is that you should be able to see this change up and down as well as I turn this knob. This is a real slow sweep. And then if you turn it off, it goes back to zero again. And you should see zero on here, on the oscilloscope. Okay, so in, or, you know, the, in order to adjust the channel B probe, the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're, the position control is off, center capacity, uh, we're in the VB mode, 200 millivolt mode. Notice I have a negative 0.1 millivolt. The first thing you do, you are in the ground position, we have to set the zero point on the probe. By putting in, in the adjustment tool in here, I'm going to adjust this until this reads zero. Just like that. Now, the next step two is we're going to adjust the leakage, the 1x leakage. We turn the 20 mega ohm switch on. Now we're going to adjust the, the, how, many, how much leakage we've got, and that needs to go to zero. So this probe is now properly adjusted. When you're at the ground potential, you're at zero and we're at 20 mega ohms, we're at zero. If I now press the, the ERT test button, I'm going to put one nanoamp of current through a 20 mega ohm resistor, and I should read 20 millivolts exactly. We're going to adjust the channel A posi uh, offset positions. We're in standby, the position switches off, the capacity compensation is turned fully counterclockwise, the probe is plugged in, uh, I've got the uh, output connected to the oscilloscope so we can see that and the switch is in the ground position. The first thing you want to do is turn the operate switch on. And then step two would be to adjust the zero position 
of the probe and that's where it is I just got rid of this deleting zero there step two is that in the one pica amp range when you turn the, the test resistor on and you notice that it went off scale high that now it takes a few seconds to come down because this is a very very large RC time constant this is one pica amp on a 10 to the 11th resistor it is incredibly high so what we're going to do is when this settles down is we're going to adjust this IG leakage to as close to zero as we can this is a this adjustment can take some time as you notice it's dropping 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 I haven't done anything yet so it's very very close to zero already and it's slowing down 1.5 it's probably going to go a little bit negative and a little bit of skill is involved in this you notice yeah, it's going more and more negative if I turn it counterclockwise so I go back to clockwise closer and closer to zero I'm gonna just I'm not probably going to set this up perfectly because it does take it takes about 30 seconds for each adjustment to settle in and you know the purpose of this video is to do a very quick demonstration and not the entire thing so that's pretty close that's uh, settling at about minus one okay the next step is basically once that's set up we're gonna push the ERT button to test the probe and what's what we should see with this 10 to the 11th resi uh, resistor is 100 millivolts and that's what it did is it jumped up to 100 millivolts I'm holding it in because it's going to take some time to get there now so we had a negative one millivolt offset so uh, this should basically come in now oh, it came in at 100 millivolts so that basically that's the ERT test um, this is for very very high like like 15 20 mega ohm pipettes to do to uh, to test that that's fundamentally that's that's the setup for both the A channel and the B channel whenever you're not using the A channel make sure you put that into standby mode to protect that electrode but you know, the 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 P, the one PA and the one na nano amp adjustments the one nano amp adjustment is if you take a B probe and put it over here in the A channel you're going to use the one nano amp mode the normal A channel is going to use the one pica amp operation if you're not getting exactly 100 millivolts you'll it, you may have to adjust this one pica amp this is a point of calibration here at the factory you should not have to change that what I've done and you can barely see this is I've coiled up the cable and stuffed it on, basically put it under the box channel A in, under under these test conditions with this very high re impedance resistor tends to oscillate that's one of the reasons why we're looking at it on the scope if I bring this out sometimes you can have this this channel break into oscillation I need to be in the operate mode for that to occur too but uh, you can see that you know, just by moving the cable around there's minor changes so the thing is when you're setting this up coil up the cable and push it under the box the box acts as a shield and can stop oscillations one thing you won't notice is that you might see a stable voltage over here in the meter it could be oscillating the only way to see that is with an oscilloscope so that pretty much concludes the setup of set you know the initial setup and, and, and tune up of, of both the A channel and the B channel as far as that goes for 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 just before you do an intracellular measurement this has to be done every time you're using one whether you use the A channel or the B channel in your prep you should always leave these plugged in always be in the standby mode there is no standby mode here but you can leave this in in the B channel and on ground in both conditions that's normal storage condition it doesn't have to be plugged in but this will protect those probes Thank you.